He's here, you know. Amen. The marvelous thing about Miller is he's ever worked crazy. That's right. Ever. We were coming back from Monroe on Thursday night, and uh, of course, I tried to keep the drive at night. Had my oldest daughter, Joanne, and her husband, and my wife. We've been to a graduation of our great granddaughter, <coughs> West Monroe High. And as we were driving along, I was looking out the window in the car in the back seat. And all I looked up and saw the starry heavens, all of them, all the five thousand of angels. And all of a sudden, you know, I said, What a mighty God. Amen. The psalmist said, When I consider the heavens and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thy has ordained, which thy has placed, I say, Amen. Who ordained means the place or set. Which thy has placed or said, What is man that you're so mindful of him? Amen. Or the son of man that you visit him? Amen. You made him a little bit lower than the angels, but you crowned him with glory and honor. Amen. What a privilege. To Amen. Serve Amen. Praise and I just marveled at those stars. I thought, My God is an awesome God. Yes. Brother Kirby preached a sermon here just a few weeks ago. My God is an awesome Amen. God. Amen. He's an awesome God, is he not? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So I invite you this morning to turn with me in your mind. I'd like to express my appreciation to the lovely song service, and the special songs this morning. I enjoy singing myself when I can, but I'd like to hear you sing and others sing the beautiful songs of Zion. I'm going to be reading from St. Matthew chapter 28, the scriptures there, and then I'll go to 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 15. Reading from verse 1 of chapter 28 of St. Matthew. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the center. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like light, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did quake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before thee in the Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And then let's go to First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. Reading reading from verse 3. For I delivered unto you first of all that which also I received from how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas then of the twelve. After that he was seen of about five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present. But some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. Acts chapter 1. Verse 1. The former treaties have I made of the office, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he was through the Holy Ghost, had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Our loving Father, God our Father, the Almighty God. Amen. And I stand before you as 
was a little speck of dust. So insignificant, so small. Yet, a very great thing in the eyes of thy creator. Someone you love more than we could ever love. But right? caused you to sin. Your only begotten son to redeem me from a life of sin. Yes, Lord. Oh, how I love you. Amen. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, yes, Holy Lord. Ghost. Amen. I praise you. I praise adore you. Lord. Amen. And I plead before you, Lord, that you would give us anointing to preach your word this morning. Amen. Rebuking the enemy in Jesus' yes, name. Don't let him have any. We trouble. command him to hold his peace. Amen. Amen. We invite the Holy Ghost to take charge of him. Yes, Lord. Take your servant, Lord, as he yield himself pliable in your hands to be used of you. And Lord, when we have finished this message and done our very, very best, whatever is accomplished in it, you shall have the glory and the in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. From those scriptures that I have read in your hearing this morning, I would like to speak on a title of the eternal, establishing the eternal kingdom of God. The establishing the eternal kingdom of God. We hear so much in this day of time, among religious people, about Jesus coming back to establish his kingdom. If he hasn't got a kingdom established, what are we in? Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. What are we in? That's right. Dear hearts, Jesus' express reason to come was to save the lost. Amen. Amen. And to make up his kingdom. Yes. That's right. That's right. Jesus told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you be born again, you can't enter if you can't see it. That's right. The kingdom. That's right. Amen. Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel and saying, Repent and believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. What is the gospel? It's the good news. Amen. It is that you and I can be saved and placed in the great. Almighty kingdom of God. Amen. God has a kingdom. Yes, sir. Amen. And Jesus came to establish it in the earth. Praise the Lord. No, not a literal kingdom, but a kingdom of, spiritual kingdom, a kingdom of peace, Amen. love, joy. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm in that this morning. Amen. My sins are forgiven. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. They're gone. I don't need to ever expect to see them again because he put them in the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. He wrote my name in heaven. And did you know? No man can't take it out. Amen. I can. Right. Oh yeah, I can foolishly get slack and take, take it out. That's right. Lose my inheritance. Oh yes, I can get back if, if the Lord deals with me. Sure. Amen. That's right. But we don't, we're not robots. We are people of free will choice. Amen. We choose our destiny. Amen. And I've chosen to be in the kingdom of peace. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. And, and he has established it in the earth. Amen. One day he's going to call it home. Praise the Lord. After Jesus' death on the cross, where many saw him die, even his disciples witnessed it. He was placed in a tomb, a barred tomb. This is the end, no doubt, they thought. They couldn't understand it. And I suppose if Junior Christian would have been there, he couldn't have understood it either. Because he had said, no man takes my life. No man can take his life, but I lay it down. But I got power if I lay it down to take it up again. Right. Did he not tell Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. Though he be mad be dead, yet shall he live. Believe us how this. Yes, Lord, I believe that thou art the Son of God who should come into this world. Amen. Yes. And he said, I am the resurrection. Amen. Yes. Amen. And he was the first fruit of them that snapped. Amen. That's right. The kingdom being established in the earth. Praise God. And Jesus, having passed through death, was seen early on the first day of the week after the Sabbath was passed. Mark recorded there was three women, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome. He was seen by Mary. She saw him herself. 
And when she 